Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back. We have some new scenery behind us, but that has nothing to do with what our video is about today, as you will see in the title and the um, thumbnail. Our, ba our battle. Our discussion today is about the Battle of Winterfell. Yeah. And how disappointed we are. I'm not disappointed at all. You're I, the only one disappointed. I am utterly disappointed I, in this. And honestly, I don't think I would be so disappointed if it wasn't for the fact that it was so overhyped. Like, I don't. Did you watch a lot of interviews with any of the Game of Thrones cast and stuff? No, not really. I watched interviews, and they literally constantly were talking about this battle and how it was going to be the biggest cinematic battle and it was going to be better than the Battle of Helm's Keep from Lord of the Rings. And I mean, the expectations were like, whew, for this battle. Are we talking about, are, are you sure they've been, they were talking about the Battle of Winterfell or I are they will, talking about the final no, battle? No, I will show, I will, I will show you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anyways, it was supposed to be a big battle. And I, I guess cinematically, like, I don't, I don't think it compares to the battles, the Battle of Helm's Keep. Um, that's a Lord of the Rings battle. It was a big deal. Uh, if you know anything about Lord of the Rings, you probably agree with me. If you don't, you have no idea, but just take my word. Anyways, so let's just put that aside. Like, if they hadn't have built the expectations up just about the battle itself, it would have been fine. But they built the expectations so high. But just the writing of that battle, just like, I didn't start watching... Game of Thrones on my Lord of the Rings. I didn't stop watching Game of Thrones the first season. I came in on the second season. So I've been watching this since like 2011. I've been watching for a long time. I mean, this is like almost a decade of my life that I've been anticipating and like letting this story build. And there were so many, um, there were so many plot ends that just like, I don't know how to explain it. There weren't, there weren't very many payoffs for some of the build up that they, like they were building up the Night King from the first episode, but there was no payoff. There was no giant thing that happened to kill him. They were building up the White Walkers, like his generals or sergeants, or whatever you want to call them. They were building them up. You mentioned they didn't even, nobody fought them. That's my, that was my only, that's my only, uh, the, the, the main thing that, about the battle that I just was just a head scratcher. Nobody fights a White Walker. No. They, they spend the, the entire battle is fighting the dead, the army of the dead, yeah. which is fine. I mean, you're fighting zombies. It's a big, it's them versus a zombie apocalypse, which is cool in itself. It's a bunch of people fighting zombies. Fine. But. In the build-up, like from past seasons to now, you notice that you only see, you start off seeing maybe five or six White Walkers along with the Night King. Like the Night King, his generals, all White Walkers. So it's like five or six of them. Sam kills one, John kills another one, and then I think another one dies. So at the end of season seven, there's like three, including the Night King. At the end of season two of season eight, right before the, the, the uh, White Walkers, the Army of the Dead, as they're looking onto Winterfell, you see this humongous line of White Walker soldiers, minus the Night King. There's like 10 of them. Where do they all come from? Like, uh, that's my only thing. Like, you can guess that the Night King, he created more White Walkers, but you don't see it. Okay, that's fine. Understandable. But you never see them engage in battle. Like, there's a point during the battle where John confronts the Night King and still he has to fight the army of the dead. Because mm -hmm. the, the Night King raises the dead and John then has to fight the dead. He doesn't fight the Night King. No one throughout the entire battle encounters a White Walker. Yeah. A also, White Walker did not get physical. 
that's that was my whole that's that's the only thing that I was disappointed with. Everything else I love. The um so the White Walkers, we didn't see anybody fight them. Like we had all these Valyrian swords. Like they made it a point to show us all the Valyrian swords. We knew where all the Valyrian swords were. But we didn't get any battles with that. Um so we know that all we don't know how many White Walkers there were because they were just all of um In a group. Gilly's brothers, basically. Her Craster's sons were that's who the White Walkers were. Gilly's brothers, whenever Craster would have a son, her dad, he would sacrifice it to the Night King and the Night King would make it a White Walker. So we don't know how many they were. The other thing that didn't pay off was um Ghost. Um they made I mean from the first episode they made it a deal about how the dire you know the dire wolves were the sigil of the Starks and they were so important. And we saw ghosts like for a second. I don't think that was a major thing that I don't think that was a major thing that wasn't paid off. It, it kind of is though because they made it a big deal in the first episode. Like they made it a point to talk about it, and that's how that's how plots work. That's how stories work. Like if they mention something, and they tell us something, it, it's supposed to come back to us in the in the future. Like. The, I mean, basically, they spent their money on making the Dragon's Builder bigger than making the the Dire Wolves, and that was just like, they couldn't do both. Whatever. But that's not a very good payoff. The Dothraki. I don't, I don't think. The Dothraki I don't think. weren't a very good payoff. Like, they they died within seconds of the battle. They're, like, by Dothraki. What's the point of even having the Dothraki? Well, that's the thing, though, is that the Dothraki went into battle the way that the Dothraki do. They had but they um, just, they Mas just Mas Masandra, them. Masandra lit their swords on fire. Yeah. The Dothraki did what the Dothraki do. They run into battle. It, it was a cool scene. And, and it, you, you see them running into battle, all of their swords ablaze, and then it's just like, toosh, toosh, I mean, toosh, I toosh, understand toosh, like what they the were lights. trying to, I understand what they were trying to tell us in that picture. Like, they were trying to say, because we could see him with the fire, and it was a cool visual to see the fire go off, and it went very quickly. And yeah. basically, like, they had already shown the strength of the, of the Dothraki. And I understand them doing that to show the strength of the dead, the, the Night King's army. That's, that's the thing that I don't think you're getting, is because, yeah, there's no possible way that the Dothraki, with flame and swords, were going to overcome... The army of the dead. There's millions of them. I That's just, my thing. Yeah, I just wish There's that millions they of them. It's it, it makes would, sense to me of it's, like it's just everyone a that died. For the it is a side way, but there's there's there's, some, not, there's no payoff in that. No, like the Dothraki, that that whole journey. This this whole but the battle. I I think I think you're you're gonna be if you're going into this battle wanting there to be payoff for everything like you want the Dothraki to be successful you're gonna be disappointed. No, I just want but, to. I, I'm saying there was a lot of things that we didn't get payoff from. Another one to me is Melisandre, and I've told you this: how she made it a point to say I I have to die in this strange land. She she did. She didn't she didn't have to. She she her purpose was fulfilled like she she did what she was supposed to and she could rest but it she didn't make a sacrifice like there was they they built that up but I, she didn't make it she didn't have to die in that strange land I heard, like there, she, there I heard, was theories that she was going to be like nisa nisa and there was i mean there were a lot of cool things like it, her being like her burning one of the but it's just trees like trees or something but it's it's still her purpose was fulfilled her purpose was fulfilled her pur and, but, but she but made thing, it a point to say i must die in this strange land yeah she but, didn't have to no no she didn't have to but her purpose was fulfilled it's the same thing with um i, I can't think of his name the guy with the burning sword him his purpose was fulfilled he was brought back nine times because the Lord of Light had a purpose for and him. And his purpose was to save Arya. Yeah. Okay. So her purpose was to help the uh, was to help the Northerners or the living in this sense win the battle, and she did in multiple ways. She set the trench on fire, although like she almost died doing so. She set the trench on fire, and she gave Arya that little piece of advice that Arya needed. Yeah. Like, do you remember the thing that I told you? 
yeah. you will shut many eyes. Brown eyes, green eyes, and blue eyes. Yeah. And from there, Arya was like, Oh yeah. Okay. And then she and then she goes. And then obviously that paid off yeah. in the end. So that's her purpose. Her purpose fulfilled. Like yeah. she like that's her purpose. Yeah. She helped she helped Arya realize what she needed to do and she helped the northerners like I understand in the her, battle. I so, understand her purpose. But I'm saying that they built it up like so she was gonna do something spectacular. Like she her sac she was going to have to sacrifice herself in order for them. I don't think I don't think they built it up that way. I think that's the way that you interpret it. I don't think I don't think it ever mentioned that she has to sacrifice herself. I just think that she she has to fulfill her purpose and then she can rest. And then she did fulfill her purpose in multiple ways. Now she can rest An in this strange land. Another, it doesn't say that she has to die. She literally said, I must die in this strange land, and as she, do you. She's talking to Varys. Another says. thing that didn't pay out to me was Sam and his books. Well, Sam's still alive, he so how does that... They made it a point to express how he stole those books. He's still alive, though. He, I know he's still alive, but nothing from those books. Like, we didn't get any help from those books. Well, we didn't get any help from Bran, either. Exactly. He's psychic. That's another thing. Bran didn't pay off. Bran... Bran's whole development is... Like, the thing had Raven thing... I mean, yeah, he's boring now. But he can do some pretty cool things. Like he can work inside of us. We've seen him work in other people even before he became the Three Eyed Raven. I don't think Bran wants. To, Bran's not a fighter. Bran is not going to get. He's not a fighter. He's not going to get involved in this battle. That but that's what, was, what I think. Like what since was the then, purpose of Bran, like just going out and watching things. Like thanks for the help, Bran. Like he he's not a fighter. Oh. But if he would have gone back in time and like realized something or gone and gotten some help, like he could have contributed in a way that would have had greater payoff for his character but if you remember in episode two they said like when they were uh wanting to kill the night king with the the dragons bran said he didn't know because no one's ever tried he doesn't know the outcome of what it would have to yeah, happen because so, I mean, no can, one's ever done yeah. all he can see is things that have happened in the past things that have happened in the past have not worked so that's all he knows. He can't see the no, future. No, but he could have. I'm not saying that he could have seen the future. I'm just saying he could have done something. But, he could have, like, him warging that whole time while the like all these people, all the people protecting him died. Like, he could have warged into some animals and had them come. That's that's expecting Bran to get involved in a battle that he has no desire he, of getting involved in. He wants. He he, he wanted not, the he Night wants, King to come to him. Yes. That was his plan. He, his so plan why was for he, the, 19, the Night King to come. He knew the Night King was going to come to him. So why would he but do But the any, plan was that they would lure the Night King and then they would kill the Night King. But why would he do anything that would cause... Because the Night King knows where he is. The brand, to our knowledge, the brand and the Night King share a same mind. Why would he do anything that would make the Night King seem suspicious? He, You saw when he warred into the Ravens. The Night King was on the dragon, Bran was in the ravens flying around him, and he tried to reach out for him. And then he flew away. I'm just saying it would have been a better payoff. Yeah, I, I think it would have been a better payoff, but I think it would have contradicted Bran's I don't character. Think so at all. I think yeah, it, because, because people, people, that's not him. We've all been expecting some, like, some pretty cool things to come from Bran. We've all been expecting him to do something. We've, all, we've also been... Or, like, even if, he, even if he didn't do anything, like, war... Even if, if he saw something in the past, like a weakness of the Night King, or just just something, like if he would have contributed something, like the, him seeing something. The weakness, he knew, everyone knows the Night King's weakness is Valyrian steel. No, we actually didn't know. We didn't know if there was any way, to, we didn't know how to kill the Night King. He's Nobody a, knew how to kill the Night King. He's a white I actually walker. watched something interesting that the reason that Valyrian still is special is because it was wielded with, with um, dragon's fire. Yeah. So if dragon's fire can't kill the Night King, why would a blade that was wielded with dragon's fire be able to? Uh, Doesn't make sense, does it? No. That's what makes it special. Why would that be able to kill him if? Is it? Special just because it's wielded with dragon's fire, yeah. or is it a yeah. certain kind of steel? It's 
Valeria is where um, the I Targaryens understand. were. Yeah, from. I understand that. And, and I mean, it was dragons were a common thing then. So like, yeah. it was just steel that was wielded with the fire of dragons, from my understanding. Anyway, but. Anyways, Jon Snow and Daenerys. What's going on, guys? Like. I don't are you so dumb? Why are you so dumb? Daenerys, just laying on the ground. Just sitting on the ground with a dragon. Why? Why would you do that, Daenerys? Suspense. Like, suspense, okay. But she doesn't know we're all watching her. Oh, she, no, she doesn't. I know, I know it's suspense, but it, I mean, if realistically, that's a really dumb move. Like you've talked about in last season, when they were just like, John wouldn't get on the dragon. He was fighting off other things and they could have just gotten on the dragon and gone. Yeah. I mean, it's just a really dumb move. And then John didn't do anything. He did not do a thing. Well, I like, think, I think you're taking, I think you're, you're, you're nitpicking like a lot of like points of the battle. Overall, the battle was not that bad. I mean, there, there was some pretty bad A parts throughout the battle. I mean, nevertheless, yeah, yeah, we can say, oh, Bran could have done this, Daenerys could have done this, Jon could have done this. But for the most part, the people that needed to do something were doing something. See, Brienne, I 100% disagree. We didn't Brienne, see Brienne doing much. What do you mean we didn't see we Brienne see, doing we, much? We, she, we, was, she was fighting she her butt off. Times, but she was fighting her butt off. But there, there's so many other people that they have to focus on. They can't focus on Brienne at the same time. I Brienne understand. was fighting her butt off. Freaking Podrick was fighting his butt off. Podrick, uh, uh, uh what's his name? Um, the, the other guy, the one that was leader of the Night's Watch, the one that saved Sam. I, I can't think yeah. of his name. He, he the knight, sac the he, new king, whatever. Yeah, he, he was fighting his butt off until he died. I understand. The only one that wasn't was Sam. I understand Sam. all this. I'm just saying, like, we didn't. Get, we saw him fighting the dead. That's we didn't the get to see them the fighting battle, the white. Though. No. Like, how much cooler would it have been, and how much better would it have been for their morale? That's if the, they would have been like, oh no, there's just so many, and then like they would have gone in and fight fought some of the White Walkers and like some of them would have died and their morale would have come back up. And that's then... the that's the only thing is that's that's my only argument is that you don't see them fight um, the White Walkers. That's my only Lady argument. Lady Mormont, that scene was that was like the only payoff to me. How? When she stabbed the giant in the eye. That was the only payoff to me. Wh what about Arya? That wasn't, I mean that 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 was cool. What do you mean that was cool? But that was probably, I mean I, I don't know that it wouldn't have been cooler for Theon to have killed the Night King than it was for Arya. I'm she not talking. Nothing. I'm not talking about Arya killing the Night King. I'm talking about Arya coming into the battle. I mean itself. No, that's not much payoff for me. What? Her killing Cersei would be payoff for me. What do you want in payoff? This is a war. They're do you not. Know, do you know what payoff is, love? Babe, the payoff I, is you've been watching something for like eight years. She killed the Night King. Yeah, but I don't. That's what I've been wanting. I, want, I don't know about anybody else. I've been wanting. I want Arya. I wanted Arya to have some type of dope moment, and she had the dopest moment yeah, in the entire but, episode. Like, you don't even see John and the Night King. You've had we've had a build up between John and the Night King for so many seasons. Yeah, and they didn't even hit a sword together. The, the, we don't even know. They just I mean, looked at was, each other. They looked at each other. That I was the it. only thing. That That's, was horrible. Yeah. That was and horrible. That, but that goes into my thing that nobody comes in contact with the White Walkers except for, well, I mean, I guess kind of Theon did, but except Arya, oh, which Theon's, to me Theon's was the biggest payoff because I wanted, I wanted Arya to, I wanted Arya to be the MVP of this battle and I she mean, was. I mean, how cool would it have been though if Arya would have like killed Viserion. Like that would have been really good payoff if she would have taken down the Ice Dragon. Like that would have been great payoff for her character. But then we still see Jon and the Night King. How go is Arya sword gonna? Sword. How is Arya gonna take down a dragon? She could slit its throat or something. A dragon? Man? Yeah. I mean, she she's <laughs> sly. I mean, I'm just saying like that would have been good payoff, but it would have left the Night King. See, and this is what nothing. personally and children is in agree. Like, to me, this would have been the perfect end to this battle. Bran doesn't ever wake up from his warging. The Night King, like, the Night King goes to kill him. Jon gets there, like, just in the nick of time. They have a battle. 
battle, battle, battle. John's about to die. And then all of a sudden, Viserion comes in and kills the Night King. And it's Bran, worried into Viserion. That, also, that seems that like, that, like, that okay. would have been a, that would have been a payoff. That would have been okay, I guess. But how is Bran going to war into a dead dragon? We don't, I mean, like I said, I don't know. If, if that's the case, why can't Bran just warg into one of the White Walkers and then just kill the entire army from the inside? It's not, I mean, we don't know if it could happen or not because no, it's, we don't, but it's not real life. I think, the, I think the, the payoff of what we got is great. We it got so, un, it was so anticlimactic. Not, not for me. It, well, I, yeah, it's cool that what she did was cool. But it would be like in in game, if the bad guys were just like killing the good guys, just like whatever, and like some somebody random like Bucky kills Thanos. Um, I just don't think there's payoff. I mean, I feel like I'm not, I feel like most people are with me that I don't like, care about if you're an avid Game of Thrones, like you've been following it since pretty much the beginning. I don't really care about the, the I, I mean think the, that the, the payoff. I think I think that the battle was really good. I'm just saying I was unhappy with it. Okay, that's that's fair. That's I fair. Felt, I, was, I felt very cheated. I felt like this is the battle that we've been anticipating. I've been anticipating since two thousand eleven and I just feel cheated. I don't. I don't. I think it. I think it made sense. There were some. There are a couple of parts that didn't make sense, but the battle as a whole was pretty good. Now we'll see if some of the things kind of make sense in the further episodes. Anyways, we've got to get off this, or we're gonna get mad at each other because we take things way too personal. No, that's. <laughs> but we match T-shirts because we love each other. I just think it makes sense. Just okay. so you guys know, we anyway. don't fight about serious matters. We fight about fictional characters because eh, I guess that's a pretty serious matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, let us know below what you thought of the battle, please. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Just let us know what you thought. Um, I was against it. Sheldon didn't have a problem with it. I didn't. And we will see y'all soon.